Hello YouTube, it's P2Plays, a place where we play card games, video games, and miniature games. In this video, I will be piloting Red Green Hybrid for you all. I have three games for you all to enjoy. I will be posting the deck breakdown in the description below, as well as a look at it at the end of the third game. We're also using the mulligan rules for all three of these games, so I do hope you enjoy these games, and do let me know down in the comments what you think about the deck. Also, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to get notified when my videos go live for you. Now sit back. Relax and enjoy these fun games of Digimon. How'd you like me to cut? I'll have you do half and then uh, just top 10 to the bottom. One or two die high roll. Works for me. I have a 10. All right, we'll be taken first. And I'll keep this hand. All right. I'll draw. I will hatch a Demi Merrimon. I'll put you to one, put down a Bokomon. And I will grab the JP and the Beatlemon. I'll put you to two and put down a JP. It's a metal copper cherry mark. 6k. You're good. I'll draw. I'll did you blow up the JP into a beta mod? Draw. I pay one for it, but then Pokemon gives me two, so I'll go up to three. Effective beetle mod. I'm gonna top five and I can grab a JP and a carbon hybrid, so I'll grab the Rhino. I'll digivolve the 
Beetle to a Rhino for one. I did evolve this Gamey Marimon into a Gilmon for one. I will then swing over your late Devimon, affect uh, Ancient Beetlemon, to so digivolve it into a Beetlemon, and then draw. So I'll have you trash your top of your security first, and then uh, Pierce one. And it's your go. You're at three. It's an 8k rhino. You have to uh, pop something on your side of the field. Oh, you don't? Oh no, do as much of the effect as possible. This is far away. It, what's the cost of Schwartz? Oh, yeah, six. six. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Six cost. Alright, I will stand. The Ancient Beetle. Draw up a turn. I'll bring up the Gilmon. I'm gonna swing the Gilmon at you. It's a 3k effect the Gilmon to draw. Swing the ancient beetle on into your security. I'm gonna play Boko for three. I will grab. I'm gonna grab the JP and the uh, Rhino. I'll then put down an Izzy for two, and then a Ty for two, putting you to one. What does Izzy do again? Um, when one of your when one of your Digimon becomes suspended, I can suspend it to gain a memory. Yeah, 
that affects only on your turn, though. Yeah, only my turn. Both the tie and the uh, Izzy are my, only on my turn. How would you like me to cut? I'll have you do half and then top 10 to the bottom. And I'm going to keep. Start off by hatching. Did you fall to a Gaussman to draw? And I'll put down a JP, couldn't get it through. Can't reduce. You cannot reduce the G evolution cost. I'll draw. Okay. I'm gonna leave the Gaussman in raising and play out a Bokoma. I'll grab the Ancient Beetle Mon. I will bring up the JP, get you it to a Beetle Mon for one, then affect the Pokemon to go back to one. 
and then affect the beetle much. I'll just grab the rhino. And I will did you evolve the rhino cobbleterimon? Swing into security, 8k, no effect. And I'll just put down another Bokomon and, and I will grab another Rhino. Bring up the Gaussimon this time. I'm going to Thunder Laser your. Yeah, no, I'm still going to Thunder Laser the Eyes Mom. Yeah, it just taps it. And then you'll be at one. Yeah, you can untap it now on your untap phase. Die to a metal carboterium one. It's an Atomic Inferno. All my Digimon next turn will have Security Attack plus one. You at zero or one? Uh, you were at three. Uh, two. Yeah, so you're at one.
swing the Gaussomon into your security, it will have an additional check. Swing the Rhino Kabuterimon into your security for two checks. Right. And then I'll digivolve that into an ancient, putting you to two. Die to a rhino. They will die to a uh, Arbomon. It's an Arbomon, 5k. I'll have you do half and then top 10 to the bottom. How would you like me to do it? Right. I'll keep mine. Evolve to a Gaussimon to draw. And I'll give you two and put down a can. He sets me to three. And then on my turn, if a green or blue Digimon deletes one of your Digimon, I can tap it to gain a memory. Digimon 
Is it Thunder Laser? I'll add it to my hand. It's a JP. I'll put down a Pokemon for three. I'll grab Beetle and the Izzy and Me. I'll digivolve to uh, Metal Copper Terramon for one, then affect the Pokemon to gain two. So back to one for me, and I will draw, and I will rest your um, Gabumon with Metal Copper, Metal Copper Terramon's effect, thanks to him being under a JP. I'm going to Atomic Infernal the Metal, so he uh, has an extra... 3k buff and um, an extra security attack. I'm going to swing over the Gabumon and then um, so swing over it for 9k and then two checks thanks to JP giving my metal pierce. I'm going to swing the Gaussomon into the Candlemon. Thanks to the Kapuramon, gives me an extra 1k DP because I have a Tamer out on the field. So we'll crash. And then I will give you two memory and put down another JP. It's a Mimi. I'm going to swing the metal copper terramon into your security. You evolve to a beetlemon, go to zero, draw, and then affect the Pokemon to get two. And 
affect the beetle. I will grab an Arbomon. Swing the Pokemon into security. Swing the Beetlemon into security. And then I will Digivolve for two to an Arbomon for game. Good games. You too. I will drop a security. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I see you want to do the mulligan? Uh, yeah, sure, if you'd like. Yeah. One or two high die roll. Just one. All right. Okay. I have a five. I have a one. All right. I'll be taking the play. Um, yeah, I'm gonna mulligan that. Alright, and I will keep it from here. Yeah, good luck to you. I will hatch a Kapuramon and then give you three to put down a JP. I'll draw. I'll bring up the JP and did you vote to Arbomon for one to draw? And then I'll give you one to did you vote that to a rhino and then draw. It's a Ken. Okay. I will visual Siakuma to Vigilon for three. Draw. It's a fact if you have a team in play, I'll just stack the stage one. Alright. I'll draw for turn. Did you the Kapiramon to a Gasomon to draw? How much it how much uh DP does the Vidramon have? Uh oh, six thousand. Six K. I'm going to Yeah. I'm going to Thunder Laser for one the uh Vidramon. What does that do? Uh it rests your Digimon as long as I have a hybrid or ten warriors out on the field. Yes, you do have one. I will swing the Rhino Kabuterimon over the Vidramon. Okay. How much do you have? 8k. Got it. And then I will tap the Kin to gain a memory. And then I will digivolve the Rhino into an Argomon for four to draw. And then Argomon's effect, um, it would rest all your tamers and your tamers cannot unsuspend as long as he is on the field. Digivolve for three to be on. 
Pronto. I will stand and draw. I'll bring up the Gaussumon. I'm going to Tomic Inferno my Argomon, giving an extra 3k buff and a security attack plus one. Uh, just out of curiosity, Atomic Inferno doesn't just work on hybrids. Uh, main, it's just one, yeah, oh no, yeah, it is one Digimon with hybrid and straight. Alright, can't do that. Alright, um, mm -hmm. Put you to one and put down a Mimi. Put down a JP for three. I'll digivolve for one to a Metal Kabu Terrymon, and then I'm going to rest the the Vidramon with the sources under it. And then I will swing over that with Argomon. I'll just give you three and put down a JP. Mm -hmm. I'll 
Uh, this is all the C1 into V join with Jamming for two. You go to three. Draw. All right. I will stand and draw. How did you bought this Kapuramon to a Gilmon? Draw. I will Atomic Inferno the Metal Kaputerimon. And I will swing it over the Vidramon. And then two checks. Okay. Rina, let's play in your top three. I'll take the Aero Vidramon. All right. The Is Rina a memory tamer? Issues, huh? Okay. I'm going to use the Mimi effect here mm -hmm. to bring up the Gilmon. Mm -hmm. And then I will swing with the Gilmon to security, effect of the Gilmon to draw. And we'll start game two. I'm going to Digi-Zorp by resting the Gaussomon. Digi-Evolve the Metal to a Blossomon for free to draw. I will, then will Digi-Zorp this Agromon to Digi-Evolve this Blossomon into another Agromon for two to draw. And then I will rest all your Tamers. You just go to one, not two. My one. You were at two earlier, weren't you? Um, now uh, you were at a zero, and then I just reduced my cost by two. So, okay. Okay. yeah, he doesn't reduce by three, he reduced by two. I'll swing to your screen with Jack. Right. It's a thunder laser. I'll add to my hand. Hatch. Did you evolve to JP to a Beetlemon for one? Draw, affect the Beetlemon. Grabbing the Beetlemon. I'm going to Thunder Laser the Arrow Beedramon. And I'll swing over that for the Argomon, paying the two for uh, Ice Wall. Nice. And then Pierce because of JP. One check, two checks. Just one check. 
Pero Vito, is that okay? Digital for free, draw. Um, yeah, I don't think I can do anything because uh, it's a very tamer, suspension heavy deck, and uh, you can't trade me just by doing that. Three, four, five, and yeah, one, three, four, five. I will keep this hand. I'll also keep it. Alright, well, good luck. I'll start off by hatching a Demi Mermon. And then. playing a Ken for four. Hatch. This ball for Fade of Demon, bro. Play Davis for four. Top three. Just get my hand up there. I'll pick the word off. Alright. He's at the bottom. Do you want to Drop the turn. Start by playing out a Bokomon. And only grabbing an Arbomon. And I'll just pass from that. Security, uh, we'll call it a draw. Yep, 6k. 5k, you're good. Put down an Izzy and Mimi, going putting into one, but you'll go to your three. And when you have a to spend a Digimon, I gain two memory. And then um, on my turn, I can tap it to when a level five attacks to look at top three, and then Digivolve that into a level six. Gotcha. Drop. Well, gotcha. As in, I got to not the gotcha play that you're doing. Oh, I thought that was fun. Come on. Hmm. Yeah. Play Sorcerer for 
four. Go to your one, then three. All right. I'll draw. Did you evolve to a beat him on for two? Draw, effect. I'll grab the beetle. Is it not a reduced cost of one? Uh, right, JP reduces the cost. Oh, okay, that's not it, got it. I'll digivolve for one to the metal and then suspend the Madoki Betamon. I'm going to swing over that with the metal Kabuterimon. And then I'll put you to your three and put down a JP. Well, I go to five because of Sword Joe. Yeah, but we'll go. Oh, uh, I drew the turn. How much security do you have? Four. I'll swing Beamon into your security with Jamming upon an effect draw. Right. And then yeah. I will tap Sora Joe to uh, strip your sources. What was it? Uh, it was a Gilmon. Six K. Play ice ball for one. Then I'll swing over your suspended Digimon. Digivolve the JP into a Beetlemon for one, draw, effect of Pokemon to gain two, and then effect of Beetlemon. I'll grab both the Rhino and the JP.
How much DP does the uh, Vmon have? 2,000. Did you evolve for one to a metal Kabuterimon? Draw. The rest, the uh, Vmon. I'm going to Atomic Inferno my Metal Kabuterimon. Pay the two to swing over your Arrow Vidramon. And then I will tap the Kin to gain a memory. A piercing, right? Yes. How many checks? Two. Four well, horses left. I'll pay another two to have the Pokemon swing over the Vmon and crash us. And I should be at a zero. Why? Um, I was at four after the Pokemon. Did you evolve for one to the metal? Then paid the two for the metal. Tapped the Kin to gain another memory. Yes, yes, got it. And then zero when I swung the Pokemon. And then I'll give you your three yeah. to play it down in JP. Got it. Watch. Play Pokemon for six. Go two, three. Alright. Draw. Stand. Oh, did you fall for one to a beetle? Draw. Affect the beetle one. I'll grab the Rhino. I'm going to Thunder Laser the Ikakuma. Did you evolve for one to a Rhino Kabuterimon to draw? Did you evolve the Demi Mermon to a Gauzamon? To draw. I will then swing the Rhino Kabuterimon over the Akakumon. Effect to Digivolve into the Ancient Beetlemon for three. Draw. Effect to Ancient Beetlemon. I'm going to have you actually trash your security first and then pierce. Yes, trash. Yeah. One check? Yes. Two okay. And then it's your go. Stand and draw. I'll bring up the Gaussman. No, Where... you're at three. Yes, this oh, one yeah. is a seven cost by the seven. Yeah. yeah. Totally forgot. Thank you. Swing Ancient Beetlemon into your security. Seven here. Good. Swing the Gaussman into your security. Seven here. Good. Uh, he dies. I'm sure you have a hundred and a half. I do. Yes, sir. That's all for me. All right, good game. Good games. Have a good day. Good luck with you two. Uh, thank you. For game three, my opponent requested I do not present this with the audio, so I'll be doing a voiceover here for you all. 
about this match. So anyways, this is Red Hybrid Shoutmon here. We've just finishing up all our shuffling and rolling to see who is going to go first tier, and then we're going to check out our hands and see if we want to mulligan them. This is a very interesting match because I really didn't think Shoutmon was actually ever going to show up since it wasn't really all that high of a deck in my opinion, especially with what Red Hybrid can do now being more of the pinnacle aggressive red deck. But anyways, I'm going to start it off. Hatchet Kapuramon, Digivolve to a Gaussamon, and then put down AJP, getting me ready for my plays. Anyways, my opponent's going to Digivolve to the BT7 Flamemon, and then going to put down a tie, basically nulling me from memory choking them. Also giving them an extra secure attack if they have four or more sources under a Digimon. I'm going to swing my Gaussamon into their security. It right now currently is 3k. So the Shaman, um, I believe, is 2k, but Again, my Gaussamon being 3k on my turn thanks to the Kapuramon. So anyways, I'm going to just take a look through my hands, see kind of where I want to go. Again, my opponent's going to go on my cleave to 3. I'm going to put down a Kin, that way I do not get memory choke any longer. So, again, Kin being able to tap itself after a blue or green Digimon deletes one of my opponent's Digimon is really nice to gain a memory, not mention being memory tamer. My opponent is going to go to 0, it's going to activate a red memory boost. Look at the top 4 here and he is going to grab the Agumimon. Of course, still a great hybrid card, being able to go over that tie to win games. Anyways, he's going to swing the Flame Mon into security. It's going to run into a Blossom Mon here. So after that, um, my opponent is going to put down a Bogle Mon, looking at top five and allowing him to grab a Tamer and a Hybrid or Tin War. So he's just going to be able to grab the Ultimon, which is still very strong, getting that 3k buff on itself and then being able to also be a delicate plan and heritable. So I'm, I'm going to hatch it out of the Kapuramon. I'm going to go straight up from the JP right into the Metal Kabuterimon here. That way I can rest the Bokomon since again, it went over a JP. JP, of course, reducing the cost of the Digimon by one. So afterwards, I'm going to Digivolve that into the Rhino Kabuterimon. So if I have the uh, Ancient Beetlemon, this is exactly the play I want to go. Anyways, I'm going to pay one to Atomic Inferno, my um, my Rhino there. It gives an extra plus 3k and gives an extra security attack. I'm going to just run it over the Pokemon. I do not have the Ancient Beetlemon here to Digivolve over it, which would have been nice to trash and then um, hit for two checks. So anyways, um, first up is the Kuya and then a Shoutmon and the Shoutmon will take down the the Rhino Kabu Terrymon. Then I'm going to finish it up here with a Pokemon, putting my opponent at three and looking at the top five here. I'm going to add, grab that JP and that hybrid, I believe is a Metal Kabu Terrymon. But either way, adding them to my hand, whether or not it was Beetle or Metal Kabu Terrymon, either of them is really nice. Of course, seeing the Rhino is a little better as well, but Beetlemon could actually uh, search out the Rhino as well. Red Green Hybrid has a very good search engine, I ain't gonna lie about that. So anyways, he's gonna bring up his Takuya and Digivolve for two into an Agumimon. He may, um, so he's gonna crack the memory boost here because of the Gaussamon. He has an Aldemon in hand, but Aldemon could have reduced its cost to one, um, be a one cost Digimon, but the problem is, um, he can't do that. The Aldemon must pay the three to do it. Now, I think that it's the one, but I totally forget about my Gaussamon being on the field, um, but my opponent uh, gladly points it out that I do have the Gaussamon on the field. So anyways, this Automon is being buffed by 3k and then we're just going to go to the Shaman. The Shaman does have Blitz here, but he is able to put a Digimon under it as well. So anyway, he's going to put the Flame Mon that if it dies, he gets to play Ayutakuya from his hand. He's going to trigger the Blitz off the Shaman to come in swinging. Um, right now, the Shaman will have, I believe, three checks. The Takuya gets an extra check and I believe the Shaman Somewhere A, I know it's getting a third check. So anyways, it's going to hit and hit a potential discovered Nizzy, Izzy and Mimi and um, just a Beetlemon. So now I'm able to take down that Shotmon here. I will draw for a turn. I'm going to Digivolve to a Gaussamon in my raising area. So right now my opponent, of course, has only three security left. So I'm going to swing the Gaussamon into his security. Oh, no, no, he actually should have, he has two security left. Totally forgot about that. Um, I hit him once with a Gaussamon that survived. 
and then Boko Mom. Boko Mom will die in security end because this is a hybrid deck. I will win game one here by going up into a Metal Kapu Terimon and Metal Kapu Terimon for the game. So after we've shuffled up the decks, cut here, and we are beginning to put out our security, my opponent, of course, I believe made me go first here. Now, most of the time on the second game, uh, my opponent would make me go first. It makes complete sense um, when I can give them a bunch of memory to use on their turn. So anyways, uh, we're checking right now in hand to see if we wish to Mulligan. No Mulligan, so here we go. Kapuramon, I was right, I was going first. Kapuramon into the Gilmon. Again, a really strong Gilmon being able, when attacking, to draw a card. And then I will follow it up with a Kin, making sure I do not get memory choked, though I did put him at for memory. So again, another reason for going first sometimes isn't helpful, well, helpful to your opponent um, to give you them a lot of memory. Anyways, they're going to start off with a Flame Mon. Looking at the top three, he can grab a Hybrid and or a Tamer, but just a Hybrid there and with the Aldemon. And then he will follow that up with putting down Takuya, putting me, would put me to two, but I go to my um, three because of uh, Ken. So anyways, I'm going to swing in on security. I am a 3K here. Um, so I'm just gonna hit him to a Marcus. So I can't memory choke him. I did take my draw from my Gilmon. I'm gonna put down a Vocalmon to go down to zero. I see two Argomon, a JP, a Gaussamon, and a Tide. So I don't hit a hybrid, which kind of hurts there. Um, the two Argromon definitely probably would be helpful since again, the Takuya, um, putting Takuya Argromon uh, puts all tamers into basically um, rest mode and keeps them rested as long as it's on the field. So it does um, force the Takuya not to be able to, well, the Takuya come up, but the Takuya won't attack for a turn. So it's nice. So anyways, off the second Pokemon, I'm gonna get out of a JP and a mental commentary mod. Anyways, my opponent's gonna put down a Bokomon. Again, he's going already to three with the Marcus, so there was absolutely um, nothing I could really do. Again, once your opponent goes to three, um, just putting him at three is probably the best thing you can do at that point. But anyways, my opponent is gonna grab a Burning Greymon and a Tie to his hand. That is the Memory Tamer Tie. So now he has, of course, um, now he's gonna make up four Digimon here. Again, this is still a highly aggressive style deck. Um, so anyways, um, He's going to uh, basically pay the two memory and sit at exactly zero here um, because of the Burning Greymon. Well, the Pokemon giving him two to basically pay for the Burning Greymon. The Burning Greymon being two over to Kuya. Burning Greymon, of course, popped off mine and my Pokemon. One of the Burning Greymon destroyed my Pokemon. And then the second Burning Greymon on play destroyed my other Pokemon. So basically, I have no field presence right now. I'm gonna hatch a Kapurimon. Don't have any. Most of the time you'll see I don't Digivolve that Kapuramon. Um, a lot of times I don't, not playing a lot of red Digimon or red baby, uh, red level three Digimon in here. So anyways, I'm just gonna throw down two JP and give it over to him. So anyways, there's still four attackers. I believe I have not taken much in a hit to my uh, security yet, but an Aldemon getting now buffed up and now also getting an extra security attack thanks to Takuya. We'll put a little damper in that plant, especially since the Marcus is still there. And since we know this is a red hybrid deck, that yeah, Marcus can always become a, um, always become at any time a, uh, a hybrid. So anyways, a Thunder Laser and a Digimon coming out off the Aldemon, neither of which will hurt it. Here comes the Burning Greymon. Swinging in, it's just a Bokomon. So he still has a Flamemon and a Bokomon. So anyways, I'm gonna hit the third JP, not that it's gonna matter here, you'll soon find that I only have one security left. And yeah, there's not much you can do with one uh, security card <laughs> against an aggressive style deck. Again, just love how aggressive red hybrid truly is, but it looks like my op opponent doesn't have the hybrid there to go for the game. So anyways, he kept the Pokemon completely safe. He's going to um, use a red memory boost. He's gonna grab himself Shoutmon to his hand. This is interesting of a red hybrid style deck to use uh, the Shaman. But anyways, I'm going to Digivolve up into a Metal Kapu Terimon that will allow me to rest the Bokomon. Not that it's truly going to matter. One security to the amount of guys this guy, amount of people he has. Um, I, there's no way I can win this unless all my JPs were going to need me Digivolve up. But anyways, I went to a Rhino Kapu Terimon for one to draw here. Um, I'm kind of just stock to this point where it doesn't really matter um i can't digivolve any of those other 
JP up onto the field to use them. Um, not much you can really do. You're stuck at, stuck in this position. And JP, yes, does continually reduce the cost by one, but without really a Pokemon, I'm just going to scoop it up here and give my opponent the second game. So here we go for the final game of this basically game. Um, I've already shuffled up. Uh, my opponent shuffled and got their hand and all that in security all before I finished up shuffling. I was piling shuffling my deck. I do it after some matches. But anyways, we're going to take a look at her hands here. Of course, I made my opponent go first. Again, I want to get that extra memory so I can start doing all my setup plays. So my opponent's going to start by digivolving to a Flamemon in Raising and then put down a Takuya. And then I will hatch a Demi Merrimont. I will happen to digivolve that into a Gaussmon, a really good card for this matchup. And then I'll put down a Pokemon, sending my opponent to zero, seeing a um, quite a few Tamers there, and of course the Ancient Beetlemon. So I'm going to take the Izzy and Mimi and take the Ancient Beetlemon to my hand. So that already gives me the Ancient Beetlemon play if I happen to digivolve up into a um, up into the uh, Rhino Copper Tamer. And I'll put down an Izzy here again. This Izzy on my turn, um, when I suspend one of my opponent's Digimon, I can um, just rest it to gain one memory, which is really nice. So in a way, my opponent's gonna swing in with the Flamemon, hit a JP, and then he's gonna put down a red memory boost, and he is gonna grab a Shopmon off of it. Again, the red memory, the memory boosts are kind of niche now, but they're still very good for very specific decks. And I would say, um, if you love them, use them. Anyways, I'm bringing up the Gaussamon here. Again, I want to keep that Aldamon from um, triggering here. Now, I'm just taking a look. I was deciding on doing it, but I do finally decide it. I'm going to bring up the JP. And um, I happened to do the metal here. I had a Beetlemon in hand, um, but the problem was, uh, I'm guessing I didn't see the fact that... Um, and see the fact that uh, that flame mom was actually in rest so i didn't realize it okay so anyways i'm gonna go right up into the rhino here for one to draw and then i'm going to trigger the effect of rhino swinging over the flame mon and then did evolving up into the ancient beetle mon putting my opponent to two and then oh, how i always love it trash first and then do the check never know the trash could be like a security card and you don't want always security cards triggering and effects so a lot of times i like to trash first just for the rare chance you hit a security card that way it's not triggering on the first hit because again again you don't like it when you hit security cards but anyways uh, my opponent is going to crack his memory boost to go to and then he's going to do atomic and uh blaster to kill off the gaussomon and of course the vocomon of course removing um that re dp basically removing the ability for him to reduce Reduce the Div Digi Evolution cost. But anyways, I'm going to digivolve to another Gaussamon and Raising. Still have the Ancient Beetlemon here. Again, Ancient Beetlemon, sometimes I like to sometimes wait for my opponent to have a Digimon to then use Ancient, go swing with Ancient Beetlemon. But um, here I'm going to try to use Atomic Inferno, but I realize, right, Ancient Beetlemon is a 10 Warriors and an uh, insect. He is not a hybrid. Um, Atomic Inferno needs a hybrid to trigger. So you can do it over the um, Rhino Kabuterimon if you have the memory, and then swing it in, and then swing in, and then trip, did you evolve into the uh, Ancient Beetlemon, because it will get that effect. But anyways, Ancient Beetlemon swinging into security, uh, swing in over one of my opponent's security, just a flame mod, and I'm going to put down that uh, Izzy and Sora. So basically, it's a dual tamer that gives me two memory if my opponent has a Digimon, a rested Digimon on the field. As well as if I swing with a level five, I can tap it to look at the top three. And if I find a level six there, I can digivolve that level five into a level six for a free cost for basically for free. It's gotcha, but who knows? It could happen. But anyways, my opponent's going to run into a uh, Ancient Beetlemon with their Flame Mon and then put down a Marcus so that I can no longer memory choke. Quiz it. Anyways, I'm going to bring up the Gaussomon here. I am put at one memory. I still have the Ancient Beetle on swing here. Um, I don't have a way to actually end the game right here. I believe my opponent is still at two security left. And I, yes, I have two Digimon, but I can, do not have a way to Digivolve either Tamer up into a into a hybrid. So no, it's an Aldemon getting hit there from my Ancient Beetle Again, I'll probably just keep the Gaussamon up there just to keep the Aldemon 
basically stripping to make sure the Aldemon stays permanently at three memory to play it or digivolve it. So I was uh, contempting on something. So I just do decide to digivolve the Izzy into a Beetlemon. Um, it would put my opponent to one. Of course, they will go to their three when it turns their turn. But anyways, Ancient Beetle, uh, the Beetlemon searching out the top five there. I didn't see a JP, but I did get the Metal Kabu Terium onto my hand. I did also see another Beetlemon. So anyways, I now have still a Tamer on the field and my opponent just scoops it there because they do not have a way to win the game. I do hope you enjoyed those games of Red Green Hybrid, a fun, aggressive style deck when everything goes your way. Here is a deck list I use for those games. Once again, you can find a full breakdown of this list in the description down below, and we'll see you here next time on P2Plays.